Well, good, wonderful, beautiful, not even going to lie, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Podians. It is a Sunday. We haven't really been doing a whole heck of a lot today. I have my Lula Rose on and a hoodie, even though it's like 68 degrees outside. We have been playing inside and outside today, but you guys have seen quite a bit of puppy playtime over the past few days. What do you think, Miss Kira? Hmm? Kira Dira? Kira Kira? What? Hi. How are you? She's like, I smell something. Yeah, Daddy's outside burning stuff. We'll go out there in a minute. Yeah, so we haven't been doing a whole heck of a lot today. Kind of just chilling out and enjoying the day. Talking about our trip to California that's coming up in less than a month and how the heck we're going to get there and are we going to drive? Are we going to take the camper? Are we going to hotel it? Are we going to... I have no idea what we're going to do, but we have less than a month to figure it out. So I've kind of been freaking out and figuring that out. Talking about the podcast room downstairs, turning it into a live streaming room, possibly doing some other things with it, and we discovered something today. So Kira thinks that bowl is a swimming pool. And I wanted to let you guys know, see this plug here? Jamie made it a GFI plug. So if by chance water, which it's not supposed to be able to get into it, and you know, it is running water. If water touches any of it, that plug will pop, which is nice. It's kind of nice. I didn't really think about it until right before we got her. I'm like, you know, we should probably switch out that plug to a GFI plug so it'll pop. And I'm glad we did because this little girl thinks that that bowl is a swimming bowl. It's not a swimming bowl and it's not a swimming pool. <laughs> They're pretty tuckered out. They've been out playing in the backyard for quite a while. What happened out here? You know what was really funny? Last night during game night, Greg goes, I bet we could just take it down. I'm like, didn't we try that once, like a year ago? <laughs> I thought maybe I might shoot something off of it, like the old one did, but no. Yeah, that tree actually still has some life at the top of it. If we can find something to heal the bark at the bottom, that one might survive. But this one was pretty dead through and through. So, more grubs. Mm -hmm. We got lawn grubs. Kind of sucks we can't really treat the yard with anything because of the dogs, so we just gotta kinda deal with them. Jamie's saving some of this grass. I'm gonna take some more of that stump out and then bury a little bit of it. That was the cool tool that he used. Mm -hmm. That thing's pretty neat. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link to it. If you're under the age of 21, don't buy it. <laughs> He's gonna use it to cut up that tree in a little bit. It's weird. When I, Even when I came out the door, looking at the yard this way and that tree is gone, it's weird. Yeah, a pool. Yeah, yeah. I keep thinking the same thing. Maybe this is the year we'll get a pool. Right. And then a tractor will take care of that too. <laughs> True. So this is what we were talking about—the lawn grubs. And most of the time, you have them in your yard, and they're okay. But the problem is, is when you get too many in one area, they kill your grass. Because they eat the roots of yeah, the grass. They eat all the roots. That one is huge. Yeah, that's probably the biggest one I've ever seen. There's lots of wormies in here too. There's a wormy right oh, there. Yeah. There's a wormy over there. Sorry, buddy. I think the bird's gonna get you. Sorry about that, but uh, we don't need you in our yard. So if you guys noticed, when I was outside with Jamie just now, this little pup was in here all by herself. She screams her little head off in the kennel, so we've been giving her space in the house where she's only confined to two rooms, and we're making sure that there's nothing she can really chew on. I mean, she could chew on the table if she wanted to. But so far she hasn't. But part of the reason that we're doing this is she needs to realize, you look so tired. She needs to realize that if we leave, she can't scream her head off. So we're kind of working through this little bit of separation anxiety, which is completely normal with a puppy. All puppies will go through this. Hi, babe. How's it going? Mama's so tired. I just want to take a nap. I just want to take a nap. Just a nap, Mama. Just want to take a nap. Put your head down. Go to sleep. You're fine. There you go. <laughs> give it up but anyway we've kind of been giving her a little bit of time i was only outside with jamie for about 15 minutes and we watch her from the cameras out there to make sure she's not getting into anything and then we come in so she realizes we aren't gone the first day she screamed her head off every time we walk through that door it's been what we've had her seven days today and she's already like oh i know you're coming back eventually she's a really good puppy guys she really is and these girls have been amazing with her absolutely amazing with her so this is how this thing works. That's it. Oh, not long enough. 
after that one, but pretty close. That's so cool. Somebody's gonna yell at you for not wearing shoes. Mm. <laughs> I thought I'd do it for him. <laughs> Who needs shoes? The thing's got a guard. It's so cool. That is pretty cool. Perfect. <laughs> a toy explosion happened in here. Yep. Toy explosion. That's pretty much all we have for today, guys. I did a uh, little live stream. We're trying to reach a thousand subscribers at youtube.com slash ccmousepodcast so we can do some live podcasts over there. So if you want to go check that out, subscribe and help us out. We're going to be doing some live streaming over there, hopefully fairly regularly. This little girl decided it would be fun to run in here and pee on this bed, so we had to wash it. Thankfully, we were literally right here when it happened. You know, puppies. Accidents happen. So yeah, today was a little bit shorter of a day, but uh, at least I think it was. I don't remember what I filmed. All I know is I'm really tired and she's already falling asleep, which means I have to go to bed or else I won't get any sleep. What do you think, Shelby? I saw that puppy tried to lay on you and you were like, forget it, I'm going all the way over here. She just wants to love on you, that's all. She likes you. I know, I know. You tolerate her, don't you? She's like, I tolerate her. I put uh, the cutest TikTok. The dogs have a TikTok account. Uh, if you want to follow them on TikTok, it's gone to the snow dogs on TikTok. I put up a really cute one of Shelby today, of her being the queen of the castle, which I thought was funny. But anyway, we're going to call it a night. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We will see you again soon. Good night, audience. Puppy, we got go to we gotta go to bed so we can actually get some sleep. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Good night, audience. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs and join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs.